Hello everyone. Myself Rohit Dilal. I am an undergraduate computer science student at the North Cape University in domain of data science and artificial intelligence. In this module, we will talk about the tuple data structure. A tuple is a collection of Python objects separated by commas. In some ways, a tuple is similar to a list in terms of indexing, nested objects, and repetition. But a tuple is immutable, unlike lists, which are mutable. So the basic difference between a tuple and a list is that tuple is immutable. That is, we cannot edit a tuple. First is how to create a tuple. So let's create an empty tuple. Empty. Let's name our tuple as empty tuple, and it can be created simply by putting two brackets. So let's print our tuple now. So we have printed our empty tuple. Now, if we have to create a tuple with some pre values, then we can do that by, for example, let us empty tuple is equal to. We'll add some values to it. First, first value. We can add another values. Let's print out this tuple with name em. Next is concatenation of tuples. In this, we can add our two or three tuples to a single tuple. For example, let us take our first tuple as tuple one, and let's take few values into it. For example, one zero. Two, three, four. Let's take our another tuple, tuple two. Let's not take integer this time. We'll take some other values like Python. Good. Now let's add this together. We'll print them. The two tuples have been concatenated together. Let's come to next. That is nesting of tuples. A tuple inside another tuple is called nesting of tuple. Let's take an example. Tuple one be same. Let us take the same tuple. We'll copy it from here and paste. And let's take the second tuple also same. Now let's create a nested tuple, tuple three. Tuple one, comma, tuple two. Let's print our tuple three. See in this, we have a tuple inside a tuple. Inside tuple three, we have our tuple one and tuple two. This is called nesting of tuples. Next, we have repetition in tuples. So, if we want to repeat a tuple, for example, let's print our tuple three again. And if we want to repeat this tuple three times, so what will we do is tuple three is equal to. Let's take another tuple. For example, we have taken this tup tuple three. Okay, is equal to tuple three multiplied by three. So let's print our tuple three now. C 
see our tuple 3 has been multiplied thrice see that is it has been added thrice this was our initial tuple and now it is multiplied three times let's take one more example like let x is x be our tuple having values 1 2 and 3 and now let's print x into 3 so a tuple will be created which will have 1 2 3 3 times you can see 1 2 3 again a set of 1 2 3 1 2 3 let's come to our next that is immutable tuples tuples are immutable that is we cannot edit the values inside a tuple let's take an example to illustrate this tuple 1b 1 comma 2 comma 4 and now let's try to change the value of first index inside a tuple that is 2 let us make it 45 type object does not support item assignment this shows that tuples are immutable we cannot edit the values inside a tuple but we can do in case of a list next we have slicing in tuples let's take a tuple for example tuple let it be t is equal to Now if we have to print a part of this tuple, so we can do this using print function. Inside that we can use for example we have to print from second to second, third, fourth element. In this we the indexing starts from zero, so we'll take the one next element. So let us take from two to four. Yes so we have in this we have given command from 2 to 4 and it is printed 3 and 4 so let's count our 1 is at 0 index 2 is at, at first index 3 is at second index so 3 is printed and 4 is at third index so 4 is printed from second to third index it will print from second to 1 less than the ending one so let's take one more example if we have to print the tuple in a reverse manner so we will take this command t this will print our reverse tuple next if we have to print the tuple from second element to last so it will be from t second element means first index and let's try so yes it has printed the entire tuple from the second element so next let's come to deleting a tuple let's create a tuple before deleting tuple tell one comma two. and now let's delete this tuple we'll be using the built-in keyword del delete a tuple has been deleted and now if we'll try to for example we'll use this tuple tel it will show an error tel is not defined so in line number 43 our tuple was deleted so we are having problem accessing that tuple in next line next come to next that is finding the length of a tuple so for that we need to create a tuple let me copy a tuple from here instead of writing again we have taken a tuple that is ta with this length in order to find this the length of this tuple we'll use len function so print len is a inbuilt function python which is used to print the length of data structures our tuple name so it is nine there are nine elements in our tuple let us try this with one more example take a tuple a 
with few values I'm picking some random values so let's find the print the length of double a so print then then function then our double name it is our tuple a has seven elements in this so this was all about tuples hope you would have enjoyed it thank you